Well, 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 well. It looks like the Queen Doxer has become the Doxy. In fact, allegedly, some very spicy, spicy, spicy facts about um, Miss Taylor Lorenz has come to light. Now, I'm not one to, you know, dig into someone's past. I don't. I don't think that that's. Uh, <clears throat> particularly interesting. It's it, you know, it's what they're doing now that interests me. But for Taylor Lorenz, I think we could make an exception, don't you think? Don't you think it's probably worth just taking a look at Miss Taylor Lorenz's past? We're gonna get into that after a really quick word from this video sponsor. Huge shout out to this video sponsor. That's right, it's Raid Shadow Legends. Truly. A triple-A quality game with over 600 champions, blessed with unique skills for your mobile and PC. Use my QR code or the links below to download Raid yourself to your mobile phone or PC. This month, Raid has added an entirely new event called the Path of Light. You'll be able to explore three branching paths to get the rewards you want most. On top of that, there's some awesome new champions coming out and a new set of skins for the amazing Tundra Guilt Mallet. But wait, there's even more. Raid is currently running a special Deliana chase event where new and existing players can get their hands on a brand new legendary champion from the High Elves faction. All you have to do is log in and play Raid for seven days between now and July 20th and you'll get Deliana for free. All new players, listen up. Once you're in game, just enter promo code MYDELIANA, M-Y-D-E-L-I-A-N-A -E to get 50 XP brews to max your legendary hero to level 50 as well as a ton of silver promo code is available until july 20th there's seriously never been a better time to get started and if you use my link or scan my qr code right here new players will get a free starter pack with almost 30 dollars to kickstart your game we're talking a free champion tayrell 200 silver one xp boost one energy refill and one ancient shard so you can summon an awesome champion as soon as you get into the game and attention there is also a special epic reward pack only for my viewers. Just use my exclusive promo code listed in the description. Be fast because only the first 100 redemptions get it. Give the game a try on your mobile device or on your PC. I'm sure you'll love it. Who is Taylor Lorenz? The woman famous for doxing, uh, in particular women that she doesn't like for having a long sordid history of uh, some very suspicious decisions, at least in my opinion. Uh, Taylor Lorenz, the woman who uh, you can't archive her old tweets. You wanna go to the internet archive, Wayback Machine? You can't see Taylor Lorenz's tweets. And why do you think that is? Oh, my friends, allow me to edify you just a little bit. Just one nugget in this article, which I'm not going to read the whole thing because I want to give them the credit uh, that um, is deserved here. But um, let's take a look. R. McDonald had a farm. At the time, there was only one like when we noticed this, and it was in fact Taylor Lorenz in many ways confirming that this is true. Taylor just saw your New York Times piece this evening on Facebook's policy statement. I remain impressed with all that you do, and proud to be your uncle, CLE. Uh, what? Now, all of these replies are after the, the reveal last night, after I quote tweeted it. Loma, is this for real? So you're proud that she doxed and made another one fear for their life? Good to know. Nepotism is real. If her tweets are blocked on your site, how can anyone trust you as a source? Why bother with the site if you aren't going to archive everything? People are asking. Well, that's because our McDonald, not just uh, having a farm, but also is the founder of the television archive, Internet Archive, offering journalists, scholars, and engaged citizens intelligent and quotable access to news. Except if you go to his website, one of the only people that you can't find on this website is in fact Taylor Lorenz because well she called in a favor and they scrubbed it 
Now, Dick Tracy online has a Substack, <clears throat> and they write, let me begin by stating that I don't think doxing is ethical. Doxing is often a poorly obfuscated attempt to silence an individual through public intimidation by sharing a person's identity, home, place of business, or relationships. And Taylor Lorenz is the worst. She will do just about anything to get attention. Her recent stunt consisted of doxing the user behind a popular social media account libs of TikTok. Even more disturbingly, Taylor posted a hyperlink to the user's home address and harassed the user's relatives with unsolicited visited visits to their home. All things are 100% true. While Taylor Lorenz claims it's perfectly justifiable to harass the family and friends of targets, she has carefully and hypocritically kept her own personal background shrouded in secrecy. To date, there is much speculation, but no detailed reports on Taylor's family and upbringing. The internet seems to be scrubbed of any familial connections of Taylor. Of course, the fact that her uncle founded the television archive at the Internet Archive probably helped, but we'll get to that later. It raises the question, though, who raised such a radical, egocentric, and indecent person? First, Taylor Lorenz, born in New York City, October 21st, 1884. I mean, 1984, sorry. Currently 37 and getting older. Grew up in Old Greenwich, Connecticut, attended college at the University of Colorado in Boulder, later transferring to graduating from Hobart and William Smith College in New York, journalist for the Washington Post, previously the Daily Mail, the, the Atlantic, Business Insider, The Hill, and New York Times, engaged or married to Christopher Mims, columnist at the Wall Street Journal. The parents, super rich. According to online home ownership records, the parents live in Greenwich between the eight years of 88 and 2005. Taylor's age ranged from 4 to 21 during this period, matching Taylor's claim that she grew up in Greenwich, but was not born there. Walter and Anne later moved to a luxurious five-bedroom home in Riverside, Connecticut around 2005 with a current estimate of $5.8 million. Although we could not find home ownership's records for them, um, the company that Walter owns uh, indicates he grew up near New York City and attended high school in Orangetown. Here's her dad, Walter R. Lorenz. Now, Walter Lorenz and Taylor both live in Greenwich during the same period, yet peculiarly have strong ties out west in Denver and Colorado. Not only did Taylor attend Mr. Lorenz's alma mater, University of Colorado, but Walter and Ann Lorenz eventually purchased a house in Denver in 2021, where they currently reside. And where is Taylor's self-proclaimed favorite place to visit? Well, the Rocky Mountains. Walter Lorenz is COO for Hobbs Inc., a high-end home construction business. Um, Walter's wife, Anne, has a respectable pedigree. Her grandfather is was elected to the U.S. House of Representatives and blah, 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 blah. I don't care. I'm not going to talk about her siblings, even though she would consider that is, you know, above board. I'm going to skip that part. If you want to read that, you certainly can. Um, here's all this information. You know, she's got family members. Brooke Lorenz happens to work at, you guessed it, CNN. What a powerful family. Um, she's a publicist, worked at CNN. Now, the final piece of the puzzle. Perhaps the most definitive proof came when exploring who we speculated to be Taylor's maternal uncle, Roger, Roger Gregory Mac McDonald from San Francisco. Roger McDonald is Anne Lori Lorenz's brother. Um, Roger is the founder of Internet Archive's television archive. The Internet Archive stores over 682 billion historical web pages in the Wayback Machine since 2005. And as a Twitter account of whatever with 900 following, blah, 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 blah. We talked about him. If her family tree is described as above, Roger should be Taylor's uncle. Lo and behold, Roger tweeted the following, which I told you about. With an executive level uncle at Internet Archive, it's not surprising that Taylor received special treatment in getting her online history excluded from the Internet Archives, most notably her Twitter account. For someone who, without a shred of journalistic integrity, who frequently deletes her own tweets, Nepotism certainly has its perks. Taylor Lorenz is a product of an upbringing, uh, of her upbringing, a privileged elite who grew up in a wealthy liberal household with a plethora of media connections. All she was missing was fame. And I guess she got that. But at what cost? Now, you know, some people would call her a spoiled brat. I don't know. I mean, it's not a kid's fault that... Um, 
that their parents are are rich. I mean, it's it's no more a kid's fault that their parents are rich than it is their skin color or their you know what I mean. It's, a child doesn't make these decisions. What I find interesting is just how well connected her family is, you know, and how rich they all are, and where they all you know find themselves in watershed. Uh, partners, Pete Lorenz works there. Brooke Lorenz is the youngest sibling in the Rent Lens family. Like Taylor, also attended University of Colorado in Boulder. Brooke has a career in journalism as an intern for the Daily Mail, then public relations for CNN, publicist for the Washington Post, and presently director of communications for CBS News. Now, interestingly enough, there are also people talking about her attending uh, there's a rumor going around of her attending an $80,000 a year Swiss boarding school, which I'm assuming must have been in the 1800s. So whatever that, you know, that, that must have cost a lot uh, in the few, you know, in current prices. What's interesting about Taylor is just how predictable her background is. Born rich, stayed rich has never had any real world consequences, has never been a victim, has never gone hungry, has never uh, gone cold uh, or sat in an apartment with uh, no AC. This is a woman of extreme privilege whose job is now to dox people on the internet that she doesn't like. It's interesting to me just how incestual uh, all these people are. I mean. She's with somebody from the Wall Street Journal. She worked in, they all worked at the same places and they all bounce around between the same places. What's interesting enough too, there's also a brewing lawsuit against Taylor Lorenz. Um, I wonder if there's any update on that. There is a lawsuit here back in 2021. New York Times reporter Taylor Lorenz sued for defamation by TikTok agent. This is someone I spoke to uh, last night. According to this person, the claims made by Taylor Lorenz were utter falsities, completely fabricated. And um, she's now suing Taylor Lorenz, um, which would be interesting, wouldn't it? You know, the New York Times has never lost a defamation lawsuit before, but it would be pretty hilarious if Taylor Lorenz was the one reason why they finally did. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll leave a link. Uh, you can find... Um, this article uh, from Dick Tracy, uh, his Substack. if you want to read more about her family and her interesting connections in the in media and uh, to understand exactly why she has the power she is for someone who just seems so incredibly dim-witted. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon.